got one. Got one. Got some mangrove snapper hiding in between these pylons. That's where they like to live a lot of times by these pylons, this structure, bridges. Sheep's head too. Most fish like structure. Oh, right. I'm on. I'm on already. It's kind of heavy. I gotta pull them out. Oh yeah, I think that's our target species. Yes, sir. First cast, first mangrove snapper of the day. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a keeper all day. Let's see what we got. That ain't take long, y'all. That was literally my first cast of the morning. And uh, it didn't take long. The circle hook got him right exactly where I wanted it uh, to, to, to get hooked. So I'm trying to take this out like that. Get a quick measurement on him, make sure he's legal. That is a 10 incher all day. All right. That's my first cast. I'm trying to come back down here. I'm pretty sure there's more down here. <laughs> As far as gear, if you never fished for a mango snapper before, it's real simple. All you need is, uh, I, well, for me, for a snapper, they're so small. Oh, wait, I'm on another one. Yeah, he took my bait. But like I was saying, all you need is a circle hook. Typically, I use a J hook for other species, but a circle hook is fine. Right now, I'm using a number one. Uh, I've got a loop knot tied on. I think this is like a one ounce weight or something like that. 20 pounds a liter, very simple guys. I think I'm on again. Oh, yeah. That's a bigger one. I gotta pull him out that structure. Come on. Nah, he's trying to run. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. That is a nice snapper. All right, that snapper is also a 10 incher. Yeah, man. So we got a couple keepers to start the morning. Didn't take long. I've only been fishing for about five, 10 minutes maybe. So uh, let's try to limit out a bit. I like the color on that one. Nice, beautiful red. All right. Let's get some more bait. Another one on. Shrimp looks like a keeper. So I'm using the day live shrimp. Tie that bad boy on. Like I said, one ounce weight. It's a number one hook. Put that thing on like that. Some bone. Ooh, I'm back on again. Ooh. That just took me in the pylons, though. He got me. You gotta be quick with these snapper. That's fine. Let's tie back on. I'll try to catch some more. pissed off. Ooh, that's a bigger one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, a little bit bigger. He's going to be about, I want to say 11. Yeah, this one is about 11 inches. Maybe a little bit over, but uh, even better. We'll take it. Man, that thing is thick too. I'm catching these nice red ones today. I like that, that beautiful red color like that. And as you can see, that circle hook hooked them in the mouth. Number one circle hook. Got a loop knot tied on. 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and a one ounce weight. So uh, yeah, she's going in the bucket too. Let's try to catch our limit. It's gonna come down about that same spot. See where it's darker right here? And the sun's kind of hitting these pilings right here. I like to throw in that, uh, that darker area. You know, suns like our suns. Fish like the shade too. Like to stay nice and cool, so that's what I'm aiming for. 
like I said, they're going to try to make a run for the pylon. So I like to try to throw right in between the pylon, kind of reel to the left. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a big one. No, it's trying to run. It's an even bigger one. It's probably the biggest one of the day. Either that or he felt like it. Yes, sir. That is a big one. They're getting bigger. I say that. They are getting bigger. Yeah. I mean, an 11 inch. Look at that, guys. Another 11 inch mangrove snapper. And uh, we almost got our limit today. That's four for the day. So, one more. And uh, we're going to wrap it up here today. Probably fish with Pompano, Jig for Pompano, whatever else is biting this one. Yeah, these fish are real easy to catch. So definitely get out here this summer, try to catch some mangrove snapper while they're biting. Throw some live shrimp down, small weight, and get on some fish too. I think this one's gonna be a little small, yep. It's number five, but it's a little bit short. Like right, species, wrong size. Alright guys, so the bike kind of turned off at this spot. I'm gonna check out one more spot before we head home, see if we can catch our limit. We need one more mangrove snapper to catch our limit, so check out one more spot. I'll see you guys over there. Alright. That's the right species, but uh, we got a baby on our hands. Baby, all right. So I just pulled up the spot number two and Rob will back with about that tiny baby mango snapper. Let's see if we catch a bigger one. That one had to be about five inches. I'm looking for the 11s as well as the 13s. I know they down here, so it's looking for a video. Let's try to get on. Is that a black sea bass? <laughs> I think it is. That is a black sea bass, y'all. I think that's a keeper, too. I think they gotta be 10, 12 inches. Let's get a measurement on Man, look at that. It's a black sea bass, y'all. Okay, so black sea bass gotta be 10 inches. So let's give them a measurement. That is a 10 inch black sea bass. So guess what we're cooking for dinner tonight, y'all? <laughs> yes, sir, let's go. I think I've caught maybe like one or two of these in the past. None have been keeper size though. So uh, yeah, this one is special, y'all. Gonna put it in the bucket, take it home for dinner. Man, I will say that was a nice surprise catching that black sea bass. Like I said, I've only caught like maybe one or two of them in the past and they all been undersized. So it feels pretty good to catch a keeper, especially when we're fishing for mangrove snappers. So, uh, yeah, let's keep fishing, see if we can catch this last mango snapper, and we'll call it a day for today, man. Oh yeah, I got one. Let's see if he's a keeper. He tried to make a break for it, but I caught him just in time. Nine and a half inches, it's a little too small. All right, man, if he was a half inch bigger, you're gonna be on the dinner plate. Got one, got one, come on, whatever it is, it's big. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes sir. That is, that is my fifth one. Look at this thing, guys. Oh my God, yo, he fought hard. Yes sir, that's what I was looking for. That's a monster, monster mangrove snapper right there. Gotta be easy at 13. 12 or 13 inch. I'm gonna say 12, but look at the girth on him, man. Yeah, this guy is definitely worth the wait. Look at that, guys. Man, look at his belly. I don't know if you guys can see his belly, but this thing is fat. So that's gonna be our limit for mangrove snapper today. Just for measurement's sake, let's get a measurement on this bad boy. 
And that is a 12 incher all day. <laughs> Let's go. So the last one is the best one. They only got bigger, guys. All right, guys. So we caught five mangrove snapper. We limited it out. We caught that black sea bass. We're going to head to the house, cook for dinner. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, y'all. So we made it back to the house. I got my sea bass fillet, got my mangrove snapper fillet, both boneless, skinless. We also got some veggies to put with it, zucchini, squash, and onions. Also got some mashed potatoes to put with it. So let's get this fish seasoned. Let's get ready for dinner. All right, so this is why I'm using to season the fish. Some Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning. We got some black pepper, we got some paprika to give it a little bit of color. And we got some garlic powder. That's all you really need. We don't like to season it too heavy so we can still taste the flavor of the fish. All right, so we finished getting the fish all seasoned up. Got your mangrove snapper right here. And we got your sea bass fillets here. Got the oven set on 350. And we're gonna pop it in there for about, I'll say about 20, 25 minutes. And we'll come back. We'll go ahead and get the veggies going. Got my wok fired up. Got some olive oil in there. All right, our fish is done. Put out the oven. Look at that. Yes, sir. Dinner is served. All right, I'm gonna try the sea bass first. Man, that's unbelievably good right there. That's good stuff. All right, let me try a little bit of this snapper now. Just a little piece. It's good stuff too. Here, baby, you need to try this, here. Here, go ahead and try a piece. Let me know what you think. You trying to see bass first? Yes. How's it taste? Okay, all right. So we'll go sit at the table, guys. I'm trying this one next. Well, yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead and try the snapper too. Might as well. What you think? I like the sea bass better. It tastes a little bit better, right? Yes. Both good, but I agree. The sea bass does taste a little bit better, so. Do you know what it's missing? What is it missing? Garlic butter sauce. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll hit it off with some garlic butter sauce. We can't tell y'all what we put in that. That's a family recipe right there, you know. But uh, yeah, top secret garlic butter sauce. All right, we're gonna have a seat, guys. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm Eddie Scales. This is Midflow Scales, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.